Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use lookup range activity in UiPath. So we have this Excel file and I'm going to take one scenario, find and replace. So here we'll find any value from this full name and replace with any other full name. So that is like find the string and replace with the string. And with the use of lookup range activity, we can look up the value in a string from the range of data and it will give a address of the cell. It means it will give you C4, C5 like that, A2, A3 like that. So it will give you the cell address. And based on this cell address, we can replace our value. We have this team langer and I want to replace this team langer with the William langer. I will go to this UIPA studio first. To use this lookup range activity, we need to take Excel application scope. So we'll go to activities, search here, Excel application scope. We'll take this and we'll select the file. This is employee assignment. And from this activities, we'll take here lookup range. This activity we are going to use to look up the value from the range. Now in this one, we are going to look up from the seat one value, seat one. So we'll pass here seat one. And now we are not going to pass any range here because we are going to consider all this data, which is in the seat one, right? Now, which value you want to search? So here we need to enter that value we are going to search. So the value we are going to search that is team Langer. So copy this and paste here. So currently this is hard coded value, but you can automate that here will create one variable. So we can say control K str cell address. This has been created now. Let me take here one message box and we'll pass here string cell address and let me run that. So it will give you C2 because this team langer is available in C2 address, right? And this one you can use later. So how can we use that? Let me first delete this. And I want to replace because we are taking the scenario that is find and replace. So we'll take here right cell. And this should be a part of Excel because we are using Excel application scope here. Now in the same seat, seat one, and here we have A1. So now we have the cell number. So we'll delete this and the cell we have that is here in str cell address. We'll enter this cell address here. Now we'll replace this with William Langer. William Langer. So what will happen here? It will give us cell address that is C2. And here in the C2, in the range option, we'll pass that same C2 and it will be replaced, right? It will write that, override that value. Now let me run that. So you'll see here, currently we have team language, it will replace with the William Langer, right? Now you can see here, this has been replaced now. Let's say we have this uh, Grant Black. And we, currently we know that C10, but UI path doesn't know that where this value is placed. So it will find and it will give you the value C10. So let me replace, uh, put here, grant black. And then I want to change with grant langer, right? So let me run that. So you see here, this will be replaced with grant langer. You can see now that has been replaced now. So this is the use of lookup range activity. Look up the value from a given range and it will give you output as a cell address and that you can use further. So I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn Blue Prism, please visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course 
I will also put the link in, in my video description. You can go through that there. Thank you.